All right, so in this video, we're going to look at how we can use our rules of relative dating to figure out what happened when looking at a rock sequence. So the first thing you should look at is the bottom. Why do you want to look at the bottom? Because the oldest rock are going to be formed at the bottom. And looking at this, what do we notice about the rocks on the bottom? Well, we notice they were folded. So we know that folding must have happened after the rocks got laid down because according to our law of original horizontality, they all must have been flat at one point. So looking at our rock layer, you might want to pause this and see if you can kind of figure out what order is, try to test yourself, and then check yourself as we go through what's happening. So we first have our layers G, then on top of that, F, then E, then D, and then C. But they were all laid down horizontally. So those are our rocks, and you can look in your reference table to figure out what type of rocks those are. So our symbol shows us that we have sandstone, conglomerate, shale, limestone, and then some more shale. And all of this are all of these are sedimentary rocks. We know they were formed where? Hopefully you're answering underwater. They are formed underwater. And after they're formed, how do they get to the surface? Well, in order for them to get to the surface and to be eroded, they have to be uplifted. And that is probably what caused them to get folded. As um, pressures within the earth push them up, um, that process might have folded them a bit and creating the bending you see now. So they got folded and lifted up. But what do you see right here along this line above C and below B? We see this wobbly line, which tells us that we have an unconformity. What is an unconformity? So yeah, we have our unconformity, which is erosion. So basically something happened and everything above C got eroded away. So our next step would be erosion, which leads to uh, what we call an unconformity. And then above our unconformity, we something happened. This area got covered by water again. Um, and now we have limestone and our shale that got deposited. Then they got lifted up because they form underwater. And then A has been um, eroding over time. So we're going to look at another picture. What's going on here? Can you order it from oldest to youngest? Where is the oldest? Where is the youngest? Can you tell me what rock is found at A? Now looking at this, what's going on here? A lot. Um, so pause your video, see if you can figure out the order of the letters um, and which letter came first and which one came last. All right. So now you've had some time to look at it. What happened first? Well, again, we want to look towards the bottom. Um, that's generally where our oldest rocks are going to be found. So we have these letters over here. So our I had to have happened first. And then you're like, well, when did this fault happen? But you need to look at what layers the fault goes through. So the fault goes through H. So it must have been I, then H, and then we had our fault J go through, and then G happened. This got eroded, and then E came on top, and now we're going to look at D and F. Which one of those came first? So what you want to look for when you have this intrusion of, what we, of magma, call this an intrusion, it is underneath uh, 
D, and you don't have any contact metamorphism. These little lines represent contact metamorphism. And if we don't have contact metamorphism at D, it means that D must have formed after F formed. Then after D, we have C, and then we have B, and then we have A.